Okay everyone, so put your equipment to one side and we're going to warm up. Warm up is really important because it gets our blood pumping around our body and it reduces the chance of us getting injured. So we're going to start some jogging on the spot. So take this at your own pace, shouldn't be full speed. Just get the legs going a bit. Now maybe go a little bit faster, get your arms going as well. Good everyone, okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to side skip and squat. So squat down, a couple of side skips and squat. Okay, so sink down into those knees. Keep the back straight. That's it, good. Couple more. Sink down into the knees, one more. Good, okay, next one we're going to do is heel flicks. So you're gonna flick your heels up. That's it, good. Heels up to touch your bottom. Come on guys, keep going. Good, okay, next one we're going to do, we're going to do a lunge with a twist. So we're going to lunge forward, arms out straight, and we're going to stretch all the way round. And then the left leg, all the way to the left, all the way to the right. Okay, keep those arms out straight in front. So you can really feel the twist across your back and across your front across the chest and the abdomen. Okay, one more on each leg, twist all the way round. I'll show you from the side on the last one. So lunge and twist all the way round. Excellent, okay, next one. We're going to draw the sword. So we're gonna take our sword out from the side, stretch up and across and do five on each arm. Good, so really stretch up to the sky or to the ceiling. That's it. Good, so you should feel the stretch across your chest and your upper back as well. So stretch up and across. Up and across. Up and across. Okay, so now we're going to do slow jog and then we're gonna go fast for five seconds. So slow for five seconds, fast for five seconds, okay? So slow and fast. Go, 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 go. Get those legs moving quick. And slow for five seconds. And go, fast as you can. Really get those legs moving. And slow for five seconds. This will be the last go coming up. Go, fast as you can, fast as you can. Keep going everyone, keep going, keep going. And stop there. So give your legs a bit of a shake off, arms a bit of a shake. Okay, so pause the video, grab a drink, and I'll see you back here in just a second. Excellent. Okay, so now we're going to warm up. We're gonna get our body ready to play, get our muscles nice and loose, and get the blood pumping around our body. Because when we're active, not only does it make our body healthy, but it also makes our mental health better as well. So, first thing we're going to do, jogging on the spot. Each exercise here we're going to do for 30 seconds, okay? And I'm gonna throw in a new one this week. So see if you can spot the new warm up part. So. 30 seconds, jogging on the spot. Okay, so start off quite slow. And now we're halfway through, so let's just bring the pace up a little bit more. Still not a sprint. And get those arms working a little bit more now. Good, a few more seconds everybody. So you're using those arms a little bit more now. Okay, so now we're going to do a side skip with a squat in there as well. So we side skip, squat down, side skip, squat down. Side skip, squat, 
side skip squat. Just whatever space you have, even if it's just one side skip and squat, like I'm showing you, that works perfectly well. Excellent. Okay, next one we're going to do heel flicks. So hands behind your bottom, try and flick your heels into your hands. Feel the stretch across, across the quadricep at the front of your thigh. Very good. A few more seconds of these. Get those heels up. Fantastic. Okay, so this time we're going to do a lunge. So we lunge forward. We're going to twist from right to left, back to the middle and back. And the next side, arms out straight, twist to the side, the other side, back to the center. So try and hold your balance and really control the movement here. So we want good quality, not quantity on these lunges. Okay, keep nice, good posture when you do it. I'll show you from the side. The nice straight back, straight arms, that line along your spine nice and straight. Excellent, fantastic. Okay, next one we're going to do, drawing the sword. So we're gonna pull out, imagine we've got a sword at our side, we're gonna draw it out and hold it up to the sky. Okay, so we can do five on each arm. Three, four, stretch up as far as you can. Five, Really feel the stretch across your chest and your back a little bit here. Now the other side. Left arm up and across. Across and up to the sky. Across and then stretch up to the sky. Good, and one more. Fantastic, okay. And now we're going to jog for five seconds and sprint for five seconds. So jog for five, here we go. And then fast, 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 fast. Five seconds, keep going, you can do it. And now jog again, slower. So just a jog and go, go, go. Fast as you can, come on. Fast as you can, good. And one more, one more jog for five seconds. And now sprint, go. Fast as you can, fast as you can, fast as you can. Very good, well done everybody, okay, give your arms, your legs a bit of a shake off. You should be all warmed up now, ready to go. So pause the video, grab a drink, and I'll see you in just a second. Fantastic everyone. Okay, so we're nice and warmed up, we've had a drink, and we're ready to go. So the first thing you need to do is we're going to use our two markers. So I've got my two Squash bottles, okay, move them a bit. Fantastic everybody, okay, so I hope you're all feeling nice and warmed up, ready to go. You've had a drink, got your breath back a bit. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to set your markers up like I have. Now my markers are just wider than shoulder width apart. So if I stand at shoulder width apart and you can see my markers are slightly outside of my feet. Okay? So like last week we did this for those of you that were here. We start in the middle and we're going to do a figure of eight. Okay? So we go round the bottles through the middle. Round the bottle through the middle. So we're drawing that figure of eight, and you should notice that I'm always facing the camera. Even if I have to glance down, my toes, my body is facing towards the camera. So we're not going to turn our back or turn to the sides like this. Okay, so we are going to do 30 seconds of those, and we're going to see how many you can do in 30 seconds. So I want you to count. Okay, so ready, steady, go. 30 seconds, fast as you can. That's one, two, three, 
Keep going, you're halfway. Keep going, 10 seconds. Big push. And stop there. Well done, everybody. Okay. So, we're going to do 30 seconds again. And your challenge is to try and beat your first go. Okay? So, you're trying to beat your personal best. Or maybe you can challenge your mum or your dad or your brother or your sister and see who can get the most in 30 seconds. Okay? So, in five seconds, you're going to do 30 seconds again. Okay? Try and beat your personal best. Are you ready? Steady, go. One. Keep going. Two. Three. Four. Halfway, keep going. Keep facing the camera, even if you have to glance down. Keep your body facing the screen. Keep going, last few seconds. And stop there. Did you beat your first go? I hope you did. Okay, very good everybody. Okay, so this time, where your bottles or your, whatever you're using as your markers are, I want you to just push them slightly further apart. Okay, so slightly further apart. Now, we're going to be going behind the markers here. So we're not going over the top of them. We're not going in front of them. We're going to stay behind them so that we can see them and we're not going to tread on them. So, you're going to balance on one leg. We're going to hop to the side. Hold your balance and then hop back. Hold your balance, hop back. So I don't want to see this, okay? We want to push, test our balance a bit and then push back. And really use your core here. Use those core abdominal muscles to help maintain your balance. So 30 seconds, off we go. So this one we're not counting on. And again, we're looking for quality, not quantity. So hold your balance, push off. Hold your balance, push off. Excellent, everyone. 10 seconds left. Hold that balance, push off. Balance is really crucial in tennis. So that's why we're testing it a bit now. Use those core muscles. Good, okay. So, this time, we're going to do 30 seconds with a slight twist. So this time, we push and land, hop up, push back, land, hop up, land, hop up. So again, get your balance, hop up, and then go again. Okay, so it shouldn't be really fast. Again, it's quality, not quantity we're looking for here. Okay, because we're trying to test our balance and engage the core muscles to help with that balance. Okay, so 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one, go. So pop up as high as you can. everybody keep going halfway through like I said focus on your quality of your hops and your balance rather than trying to do it really quick five seconds keep going and stop there well done everyone fantastic okay Next exercise. So this is a new one. We didn't do this last week. So in tennis, we do something called a split step. Some of you may have heard of that. Some of you may not. Now a split step helps us get ready to push off. Okay, so if you imagine we're chasing a ball to the side, we're getting ready to push off. So a split step is essentially a little jump, feet shoulder width apart, and my knees are bent. So I'll show you again from the side. So we're not going to stand upright. We're going to be low. And I'm landing with my knees bent and my feet shoulder width apart. So that's a split step. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 30 seconds and we're just going to do little split steps forward and back. So it'll look like this. Okay. 
So you can see my feet are moving forward and back, but my top half is nice and still. Okay? So, 30 seconds of those. Are we ready? In three, two, one, go. So keep those knees slightly bent so you have a nice soft landing. Your weight is slightly leaning forwards. I'll show you from the side. Okay, keep those feet shoulder width apart. Okay, 10 seconds, keep going. Just little hops forward and back, landing on both feet at the same time. Keep the weight slightly forwards. And stop there, well done. So remember that split step, because we will come back to it later on, okay? So, get your breath back. If you need a quick drink, you can have one. But if not, you're going to use your tennis ball now. Okay, everybody? So tennis ball ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw the ball up, let it bounce, catch, okay? So you can start with two hands when you catch the ball. That's fine. If that's too easy, then try using one, okay? And keep those feet working. So look, I'm not really moving anywhere, but I'm just moving those feet on the spot. Try using your weaker hand, okay? So I want you to challenge yourself. The more you put into these sessions, the more you're going to get out. So challenge yourself. Try and test yourself. Maybe try alternating hands. Okay, so right to left, left to right. Good, everybody. Keep going. A few more seconds. Try and do it quicker. So as soon as you catch the ball, throw it straight back up. Keep those feet moving. Very good, everybody. Okay. So now we're going to do same thing, but before we catch the ball, we're going to see how many claps we can do. Okay? So we, for example, we throw it up, clap, and catch. Two, three, four, five, six, catch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, catch. Okay? Once again, if that's easy, use one hand. Okay? Just use one hand to catch the ball. So off we go. See how many claps you can do. Keep going, everybody. And again, if you want to make the challenge harder, try catching the ball with your hand pointing down like this. So rather than catching it with the palm up, try catching it with the palm down. That's a good way of challenging yourself. Okay. So like I said, you set, set the challenge here. But keep the feet working. Always using those legs. Good, keep going. A few more seconds, everybody. See how many claps you can get done. Okay, so now we're going to do is change the claps so we alternate between a clap in front and a clap behind. Okay, so throw it up and try and catch it. Okay, a bit more coordination needed here. So I'll show you from the front. Again, you can use one or two hands depending on how much challenge you want. See, I only got four in there, so it's a lot tougher to get the claps in. Six there, okay? So off you go, everybody. Ooh, try again. Okay, must catch the ball with one bounce. In tennis, we always have one bounce. Keep going. Much faster hands now to clap in front and then behind. Keep going, everybody. Good. Fantastic. Well done. Excellent. Last couple of goes. See how many claps you can do. Five. I think five is my best so far. 
Maybe you can do better than five. I hope you can. Hope you can beat my score. Again, challenge your mum or dad, challenge your friends, your family, get them involved. So, now we're going to do is we're going to quickly do our head, shoulders, knees and toes challenge like we did last week. Okay? So what you need to do is, you throw the ball up, head, catch. Then you throw head, shoulders, catch. Head, shoulders, knees, catch. Head, shoulders, knees, toes, catch. Okay? So you can do it with a bounce like I just showed you there. Or if you want to make the challenge harder, with no bounce. Head, catch. Head, shoulders, catch. Head, shoulders, knees, catch. And so on. Okay? So, like I said, you set the challenge. I want you to challenge yourself. Okay? So, start with a bounce. If you're finding that easy, go without a bounce. Okay? So, off we go. We'll do one minute of those. Head, catch. Head, shoulders, catch. Head, shoulders, knees, catch. Head, shoulders, knees, toes, catch. Head, catch. Head, shoulders, oh, messed that one. Head, shoulders, catch. Head, shoulders. It's harder without the bounce. Head, head, shoulders. Head, shoulders, knees. Head, shoulders, knees. Oh. So you can see without the bounce, this is really tricky. So you set the challenge, like I said, I want you to push yourself to get as much out of these sessions as you can. So think of it almost as levels. Level one is with the bounce and level two is, is without the bounce. Okay, good stuff everybody. Grab a quick drink, pause the video, and I'll see you back here in a moment. Excellent, okay, so now you need your tennis racket and your ball. So what we're going to do is we're going to do little taps to start with, okay? So we want our racket nice and flat, so we can keep the ball close to our body, okay? So what I want you to do first is you can move around a little bit with the ball, okay? Just get a feel for it, but always keep that racket flat, okay? So the ball just goes straight back up. If you're using a frying pan, same thing, keep your frying pan nice and flat and tap that ball up, okay? Now if you're finding that quite easy, what I want you to do now is try and stay completely still. So stand with your feet shoulder width apart and stay completely still with your feet and see if you can do that because this will test your ball control a little bit more because you've got to keep the ball close. You can't go moving to get to it. And again, another way of challenging yourself, can you do it balancing? even more of a challenge because you've got to balance and try and control the ball to keep it close. Okay, you can swap legs every 10 seconds or so. Excellent, everybody. Okay, so now what I want you to do is we're going to do fish and chips. So we're going to go one side of the racket, then the other side. Okay, so basically we're turning our palm every time we touch the ball. So palm up, palm down, palm up, palm down. So palm and then the back of the hand. Okay, if that's still easy, try on one leg. And then again, don't be afraid to challenge yourself more with your non-dominant hand. So I'm right-handed, so now I'm using my weaker hand and I'm trying to balance. So you can see there's lots of ways of challenging yourself to make these exercises more difficult. So don't be afraid to challenge yourself and see how far you can push your skills. Because like I said, the more you challenge, the more you test yourself, the more you're going to get out of these sessions. Very good, so give you a few more seconds to practice those. I'll show you with a book. You can do the same thing, same exercise. Okay, like I said, you don't need a tennis racket. 
you can be creative and use things from around the house. Fantastic, okay. So this time, what we're going to do is we're going to try and have a little tap against the wall, okay? So, last week I showed you a forehand, so I'm right-handed, so my right palm is facing the way I want the ball to go. So imagine I'm playing it, the ball to you, my palm and racket is facing you because that's where I want my ball to go, okay? Now we're using the wall for this. So I want my palm and my racket to face the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the ball, I'm going to hit it, and then I'm going to catch it when it comes back. So I'm going to drop the ball, little tap, bounce, catch, okay? So little tap into the wall and then catch it. So I'm catching it between my racket and my hand, okay? So I drop the ball, little tap, catch the ball. So we're catching it with a bounce, okay? So bounce, tap, bounce, catch. Bounce, tap, bounce, catch. Bounce, tap, bounce, catch. Oh, messed it up there. Bounce, tap, bounce, catch. Good, everybody. Bounce, tap, bounce, catch. Keep going. So really working on controlling the ball here. So really working on controlling the ball here to keep it close to ourselves, okay? Excellent, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to try and do the same thing but without the catching part. So it's like we're having a little rally against the wall. Now make sure you've got permission from your parents to do this, okay? If you want to make this more safe, you could do this without a racket, so you could just tap it with your hand. And I'm using a sponge ball as well, okay? So I'll show you what that will look like. You can just tap it against the wall with your hand, okay? So there's no risk of really damaging anything, especially if you've cleared your space like I have, okay? So we're having a little rally, tapping it against the wall, okay? tap that ball and again we want our palms if you're using a racket or you're using your hand we want our palms to face the direction that we want the ball to go in so I want the ball to go to the wall so my racket is facing the wall when I'm tapping that ball okay and I'm also bending my knees so I'm under the ball when I tap it And then if you want to add to the challenge, you can give yourself a little target on the floor. So I'm gonna use my book. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the floor and I'm gonna see if I can get the ball to bounce off the wall and hit my book. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Two, three, four. Okay, it might bounce off a little bit funny, but just start again. See if you can get the ball to hit the book or a piece of paper. Can you get it to hit the book once? Twice? Can you do it three times? How many times can you do it in a row without breaking the sequence? You set the challenge, and like I said, don't be afraid to push yourselves, because when you push yourselves, that's when we really improve and you surprise yourself how much you can actually do. Good, everybody, okay. Okay, so we're going to finish off with some shadow swings like we did last week. Okay, so we're going to start with a forehand. So again, I'll recap. Forehand, strongest hand, palm to the side. You can do this using your hand or you can put the racket in your hand and use your racket. And we're going to add that split step in that we had at the start. Okay, so we're going to go split step, turn, forehand. Okay, so I'll show you again. Split step, knees bent, turn, forehand. Okay, we're going to do that all together. So we're going to jog on the spot in our ready position. 
Split step. Turn forehand. Swing across your body to your shoulder. Split step. Turn forehand. So we're across our body to our shoulder again. Split step. Turn forehand. Back to the middle. Right, this time we're going to do backhand. So backhand is on the other side. So we were on this side. Now we're going to go to this side. Back of the hand pointing to the camera now. You can use two hands for this. So ready? Split step, turn, backhand. Cross to the shoulder. Jog on the spot. Split step, turn, backhand. Split step. Turn, backhand. Good, okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to give you two shots. Now it could be random, it could be forehand, backhand, it could be two backhands, it could be two forehands. So listen carefully for the instructions. So jogging on the spot. Split step, backhand, backhand. Okay. Split step, forehand. Backhand. Good. Make sure you get your split step in and remember to turn to the correct side. Split step. Backhand. Forehand. Good. Split step. Forehand. Forehand. Good. Split step. Forehand. Backhand. Excellent everybody great session today I hope you enjoyed yourselves I hope you feel like you're improving week by week and by the time we're allowed back on court or back on the playground you're gonna be playing even better tennis than before these sessions so if you'd like to get involved in some more sessions like this then you can join us live on a Sunday morning all you have to do is email us at getsetfortennis at gmail.com okay so if you email us you can get yourself on the live session and we do a lot more things very similar to this so i hope you enjoyed yourself today thanks for joining in and i will see you next time great work